Mr. Shafa. Could get pretty confusing. Number one, it's gotta chew its cud. Number two, it's gotta have split hooves. I don't know if you can, you can see that right there. So why the tusks of a rhino kosher for a shofar? Well, is it a kosher animal? It ain't. I don't know about chewing its cud, but it certainly doesn't have split hooves. Plus, you'd probably go to jail for poaching. The elephant is also not a kosher animal. Maybe a better question would be, would an elephant blow the shofar from its mouth or from its nose? A giraffe actually is a kosher animal. The reason you don't see it in a kosher butcher shop because the tradition of where to slaughter it has been lost. Are a deer's antlers kosher for shofar? A deer actually is a kosher animal, but its antlers are not a kosher shofar. Because like the rhino, the elephant, the giraffe, and the deer, these are not hollow, they're solid. In Hebrew, that's a karen. A shofar, on the other hand, once you've detached it from the skull, it's hollow. That's where you get the sound out of. Cow's a kosher animal, but are its horns kosher for shofar? The Jewish people slipped up with a cow. Golden calf. And a Rosh Hashanah, the last thing we want to remind God about. Water buffalo shofar, kosher animal, not kosher shofar. Same family as the cow and the golden calf. Ain't nobody got time for that on Rosh Hashanah. Gemsbach, kosher animal, hollow and everything, but a shofar is supposed to be curved. Reason being, our impulses may take us this way and sometimes we gotta bend our heart back in the direction of our soul's mission. Springbok, kosher animal, kosher shofar. You'll never see it because it's not available on Amazon. Kudu, kosher animal, kosher shofar. And you'll see this used in lots of synagogues all over the world. Goats are kosher, goat shofars are kosher. Many of the shofars you'll see today are actually goat horns. The ram is a kosher animal, kosher shofar. And according to many traditions, a ram's horn is the most ideal shofar because it reminds us of another story in the Torah, the binding of Isaac. Remember that? With the ram stuck in the bush? And the merit of our ancestor Isaac's complete dedication to God is definitely something we want to remember on Rosh Hashanah. So this year, make sure you hear the shofar both days of Rosh Hashanah. Your neshama really wants to hear it. And let's all have a Shana Tova.